Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, I am so excited to finally be able to share with you the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Deck and Guidebook by Lily Ashwell. So I've been trying to get this for so long, and I finally found it. So I found it at my local Barnes & Noble, which was fantastic. I will link where you can purchase this deck, hopefully, down in the description box below. I'm not affiliated, and I'm not sponsored, just want you you guys to find what you're looking for. So what's exciting about this deck is there's three ways that you can use this. You can use it to learn astrology and everything about it. You can use it to help you decode your own birth chart or the birth chart of your friends and family, should they ask. <laughs> And you can also go to her website, lilyashwell.com, and create your own birth chart there. And then you can use it as an oracle to communicate with your angels and your spirit guides. So this is a hand-illustrated 144-page guidebook. It comes in a large keepsake box, and then it does have 51 hand-illustrated astrology cards in a smaller box. So full disclosure, I did already look through the guidebook because I wanted to make sure that I was prepared for what this deck was all about. And let me just tell you, there's a lot of information in it and I was super impressed. So this is the large keepsake box and it is really pretty. There is the back. And what I love about this too is that she did this all on her own and you can really tell that she put her heart and soul in creating this. I th There's just those decks that you know that like this was a severe passion project and I mean that in the best of ways. So first let's just take a look at this guidebook because it is hardbound and it has a ribbon to help you mark your pages. I mean it is just stunning. And it reminds me of one of those um, scrapbook journals that you just paint over and, you know, doodle. And I love it. So it's all color pages in here. There's a lot of info about how she started. And then there's info about just basic astrology and then how to work with this deck. So you do get um, information on how to use it in different ways. And then... Um, you do get some spreads I wanted to get to. There we go. So we have a card a day, soul growth spread, and then third eye spread. And then you go into the meanings of the cards. So like I said, there's a lot of really good information in here and she breaks it down in a way that is easy to understand. It's not just a textbook style um, breakdown of everything. It's, it's a way that um, she does it visually and um, written out. So it's very well done, in my opinion. And again, these videos are always going to be my opinions and my thoughts on the deck. I'm just telling you what I think about it. So I do love the ribbons that are here. It makes it so much easier to take the boxes out. Here's that littler box. Here we go. And she has all of these little quotes too around the packaging and inside the book. And I love that. Oh my gosh. And there's more. Again, like I said, I feel like this is just like one of her biggest passion projects. And I love it. Look at that. The shadows are driving me crazy today. So I do apologize. All right let's get into the cards and I mean look at even the little tape around it that is amazing the planet and um, zodiac symbols all right so here's the back it is simple but beautiful I love that and here we go let's just take a look at the card stock real fast it's thin but it snaps back it's so it reminds me of the cardstock that the new Colette Baron Reed cards are being printed on. It's not a negative thing per se for me, but some of you might not like it because some of you like a little bit of a thicker cardstock, and I get it. So then we have what the planet is about. So self-expression and embodying truth. Then we have the symbol up in the right hand corner. There's some white borders. It's not too bad though. Oh my gosh, it is really pretty. It's matte too, which I enjoy. 
loving that already. Wow. Ooh, I love this. The little clamshell and the pearl for Venus. Perfect. Try not to get the shadows in the way. Here we go. Let's try it this way. I have Mars. I'm really excited to start using these in different ways. I love a versatile deck. And I love that this is a way to visually see your birth chart or to use this like she was saying for um, like a full moon. If the full moon is in Uranus, then um, there's also the opposition of what's in the sun, what sign the sun is in. So it's just really interesting to learn that way. So like I said, she breaks down the information really well in a way that's attainable for everyone. It's really pretty too. Okay, so now we are in the zodiac signs. And when you use this as an oracle deck, she does say to avoid yes or no questions, um, use more what or how questions, which is great advice for most oracles and most tarot actually, to be honest. This is definitely a deck that can help you grow in multiple ways, um, grow with your knowledge of astrology whoop, and grow with your knowledge of self. Because I feel like too, when we understand our birth chart and we start diving more into it, we can understand ourself a little bit better, understand why we might react in a certain way or why we might feel um, blockages in another. I do feel like as I'm starting to go through my own birth chart, I'm learning a lot more things about myself and um, why things are going the way that they're going or I'm feeling certain ways or, you know, just your habits. That way, you know, you start understanding yourself on a more um, deeper level. So far, I'm really enjoying this deck. I feel like there is great opportunities to use this. Okay, now we're going through the houses. And this isn't very um, assaulting to the eye. <laughs> it's not very uh, uh, in your face. Too. I really like that about it. It's very gentle. Um, I feel like this is a great deck to use when you're drinking your tea and you want a little bit of self-care time. Oh, I like that. It kind of looks um, like the death card. There's, it, I'm assuming it's a vulture, but for transformation and karma in your house eight, I love that. Facing fears. So pretty. I know a lot of you have already purchased this deck. I did not get on the ball apparently when it first came out. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. So I have been um, keeping my eye out for it and 
I was lucky enough to finally get the last one in my area. And then she does um, talk about the angles too of the birth chart, which that which is what we're on right now. <laughs> It does get a little confusing, and I think that's where I kind of zoned out when I was learning about all of this stuff. I'm like, this is like math to me. I can't. <laughs> then we have the elements. I love that you have the symbols for each of the zodiac signs, too. I feel like there's just so much that went into this deck and I appreciate that. Yin and yang. Oh, and then we have, so we have the cardinal. We should have fixed and then mutable. Yeah. I love this. North node. Oh, how fun. And then south node. How cool. Okay, so let's see how they shuffle. And then we'll pull a card and read from the guidebook. They glide really well together. I don't have a problem with this at all. And I will say it in every video when I'm looking at the cardstock, I usually don't have a problem with any kind of cardstock as long as I can manipulate the deck. So if I can shuffle it and it'll work, then that's fine with me. The only problem I have is when the cardstock is like super paper thin, which I don't really have too many of those. Um, and then you're paying an arm and a leg for that deck. And I don't think that is right. <laughs> but again, my thoughts and opinions. All right. Can I just get a card? Okay. We're going to get a card for house five. Okay. We'll go ahead and read for that from the guidebook. So you get a feel for how the guidebook will work. Passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. Okay, house five. We do also have an index in here too at the beginning. I don't think I showed that so that you can go straight to it. So house five, 94. Just passed it. <laughs> All right. This joyful space holds the simple pleasures of being alive. It reflects your creativity and where you feel confident and free. If looked at from the perspective of a lifespan, it's the grounded, nurtured human now releasing, rel relishing, excuse me, in self-expression. It's the singer song, the extrovert's extroverts party, the flirts love affair, the natural home of self-assured Leo and ruled by the sun. It's where you radiate and shine. Being a house of fun and confidence is also where you feel empowered to take risks. Describing where and how you play, this space is linked to children. It can show your relationship to kids, your own or others, and your general approach to parenting. It reveals how you release the weight of adulthood and allow your own spirited inner child to the freedom uh, inner child the freedom to express itself. It's your zest for life and where you find joy and passion. So keywords would be uh, energetics, self-expression, joy, confidence, passion, and creativity. Experiences would be taking risks, play, love affairs, relationships to children, approach to parenting. So omen, embrace all facets of the life you have lifted or lived. Oh my gosh, I can't read. The mistakes, triumphs, gifts, and struggles. Can you tap into a sense of pride in the person you have become? Let the wondrous being that you are radiate and shine. This extroverted energy says, allow yourself to be seen by both yourself and others. In the coming days, find joyful ways to relish your humanness. If you are an artist, create. If you're an adventurer, explore. If you're a social butterfly, mingle. 
Find ways to laugh with abandon and feel free. What stokes a burning fire in your belly and fills your heart with love of life? Prioritize simple fun, engage with the world, and enjoy your physicality. The expression of your authentic self is your highest offering. All right. So again, a lot of information, a lot of ways to use this deck. And it's beautiful, it's gentle, it's positive. I feel like um, compared to other decks that I have that are about astrology, this one really puts it in a way, at least for me, that I can understand it a little bit better. It's not just a whole bunch of bombardment of information. So in that way, I do feel I connected to it pretty quickly because of that. Um, the images are beautiful. Again, they're very gentle. I feel like, again, this is just what um, a comfort deck feels like to me. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what you guys think, especially those of you who already purchased this and have worked with it. Um, do I feel like it's worth $35? Yes, I do. Um, honestly, as far as um, if we're comparing it to other decks in a similar price tag. I feel like the quality is there. However, some of you might um, disagree about the card stock, and I understand that. Um, but this is easily a $20 book at the um, bookstore. So again, I'm just saying comparatively, I do think it's worth the price, especially if you can find it on sale or, um, you know, for its retail price. Because I do know that there are a lot of reselling of this deck going on right now that are like at least doubling the price, which would, anyway, I won't comment about that, but I do feel it's nicely packaged. I do feel like this is a fantastic gift for somebody in your life that is trying to learn or is interested about astrology. Um, and again, maybe it might be somebody who's tiptoeing in divination and this might be a gentle approach to that as well. So let me know what you think about this deck in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear all of your opinions and thoughts. And with that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Check out all the links in the description box below. And with that being said, thank you again and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. All right, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.